Welcome to Idaho News 6. I'm your neighborhood reporter Isaiah Sharp. We have more reporters in more neighborhoods telling your stories. Tonight we begin at Boise State University where the Broncos held a press conference for their new head coach just days after winning the Mountain West Championship. Boise State football was looking at its first losing season since 1997 when athletic director Jeremiah Dickey made the move to fire head coach Andy Avalos. When you're an AD and a leader, you're responsible for a lot. And I knew that I had an important decision to make that was going to impact not just one individual, but many. That decision led to a 3-0 run by interim head coach Spencer Danielson and a Mountain West championship for the Broncos, which was enough to convince Dickey to give him the permanent job. Now, Danielson takes on the task of leading BSU football, a job he knows bears much weight. You know, Coach Peterson, Coach Harson, Coach Avalos, all coaches that have dearly impacted me, and I understand the seat that I'm going into, and I understand the gravity of it. I'm so thankful for this opportunity. Danielson enters the job at a pivotal time in college football with an expanded playoff coming next year and the growing trend of players entering the transfer portal, something the former defensive coordinator says he intends to address to help grow Boise State. We are going to work our tail off to keep everybody here. Goal number one, priority number one, is to keep our players. Not to go get better players. That, we have to do that too. But our goal is to keep our players here. Spencer Danielson still has a tall task to accomplish in 2023 with an upcoming bowl game, and it won't be without adversity. Just moments after Danielson's introductory press conference, starting quarterback Taylor Green announced that he will be entering the transfer portal less than two weeks before the Broncos match up against UCLA in the LA Bowl on December 16th. Reporting at Boise State University, I'm your neighborhood reporter Isaiah Sharp, Idaho News 6.